Hi everyone, Jeffy here and welcome back to Around the World in Many Days. It's a crossword only episode today. This one is number 35 and it's titled It Must Be in New York. Uh, let's look at what the preamble says. So, dear puzzling, in this crossword, uh, whenever one or more letters from the start from the, uh, start of the clue form a substring of the answer, those letters must be highlighted in the grid. For example, if the clue starts on Tuesday and the answer, answer is montage, highlight the letters O and T uh, of the answer in the grid. Or if the clue starts without and the answer is shower, highlight the W of the answer in the grid. Use different colors for across and down answers. So that's just basically say, saying what we need to do after we've solved the crossword. So what we need to highlight in the finished grid. But nothing tri tricky about this crossword. And um, in fact, no, no special rules of any sort there. Let's look at what kind of destinations we're, destination we're looking for then. So today I am at a lovely small town that's probably best known for a relatively so short boom over a century ago. However, even now, this place has a lot to offer to visitors, both in the surrounding nature and the town itself. Can you guess where I am? Love Gladys. Okay, so some kind of historic destination, which is a small town. And we have a crossword grid and some clues. So let me open up the editable version here. Here we are, and we have the clues copied on this side. So it's, we haven't had this type of um, grid before, which is uh, completely checked, fully checked, which mean, just means that every white cell is part of an across and a down answer. Um, but other, otherwise, other than that, it's completely normal crossword clues. So let's just start filling the grid and worry about the um, the shading afterwards. So what do we have? Uh, something is chilled. It's cool. So I'm going to change colors here because I like this blue more and the sort of default green. Um, so cool, cool is the uh, answer to one across, and I'm gonna do as like we always do, uh, just do this in in a sort of logical order. So using these letters that we have in the grid, so one down, that means I have to scroll down a little bit, but hopefully it, it's not too distracting. So Jasmine Callaway, a jazz musician, so last name is Callaway, and that would be Cab Callaway. I don't think there are many options for that one. And let's look at two down then what norway has in large quantities but sweden does not three letters starting with o and uh, norway is an oil rich country that's plenty of oil and and sweden doesn't so oil is the answer there uh, three down a lyric poem uh, starting o again three letters would be an ode ode and let's look at these now because that's only missing one one letter. So eight across. Um, individual doing supporting work, an assistant. That would be an aide. A A I D E. Just A I D might be a uh, someone someone helping with something, but A I D E fits here. So let's see, ten across, uh, starting B L E. Hemorrhage. Uh, to hemorrhage is to bleed, either uh, literally bleed, as in blood, or bleed something else, bleed out. Something is hemorrhaging money or something, bleeding, uh, losing money. But bleed uh, is the answer there. Now we have three letters for this four down, so that would be wiggle room. If you have wiggle room, you have leeway. So that's uh, that's one word leeway here and then 11 across uh, 11 down I should say so that's five letters so starting with D Doctor Who cyborg would be a Dalek so those characters in the in the TV series and now let's um, let's use these so the, for these long uh, long I should I mean these are six letters but for this grid they're long answers so this uh, 13 across and 15 across and 17 across. We have a couple of letters for these. 
So uh, 13 across, where is it? Of cities like York, Dubrovnik, or the Vatican, but unlike Los, An Los Angeles. One word, six letters starting W A. Uh, York and Dubrovnik are very famously walled. They have walls around them, and so does the Vatican, but Los Angeles doesn't, so they are walled cities. And here we have AL, but they're sort of in the middle there, so we need seven letters for 15. Throne stumped. Three words. And this is going to be the, the phrase at a loss. If you're thrown, if you're stumped, you're at a loss. Now, do we look at this next, 17? Let's look at this next and then go into this corner there. <clears throat> so 17, golfer Gary or any other golfer, technically. So um, this really doesn't help us if we don't know the answer to this part, but it's maybe more to confirm once we know the, the last name of a famous golfer named Gary that fits this, and it's Gary Player. And any other golfer might be called a player as well, right? The golf player. But this is his actual last name. <clears throat> so that's player there. Let's look at this corner then. So five down. Uh, where are we? <clears throat> Afternoon tea or supper, for example. Well, those, those would be examples of meals. Meals. So that's the answer there. And then we have six down. Southern French city. Um, now a couple of French cities fit here, so like Nîmes or Arles, but I'm going to come back to this once we have some crossing letters. So 12, um, Chimay Bleu, say. Chimay Bleu is a Belgian uh, beer, which is a type of ale. Um, then 9, before, poetically, one way to say before, in a sort of poetic ways, air. Uh, no, not like that. Air. Yeah. yeah, like that. Air would be ever, and this would be before. Right. Confused myself, but this is clearly all, all now. Uh, a R L E S. The, the southern French city. And here we have uh, five across, which is um, what one hunts in order to eat a long pig. Three letters starting with MA, and uh, long pig is a term for like human flesh uh, when when eaten. So that's man, you hunt man. And seven down would have been then need, and that is a requirement, a demand is a need for something. Uh, so here we are. Um, let's look at this 14. We have three letters for 14 down. Songwriter heart. And that would be Lawrence Hart. Um, who, who did uh, music with Richard Rogers, I think. Lawrence, Lawrence Hart. He was the lyricist and uh, Rogers was the, the composer. Uh, then we have KE for this 19. So year 2004 presidential candidate. Now that was uh, John Kerry in the US. Who lost to? Uh, was it Bush? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, so, because Obama was 2008, yeah. Kerry lost to Bush in 2004. Um, so, 24, Polynesian Island. Now, that's the name of an island in the Pacific Ocean, and that's a new way. Uh, which is. New Zealand, New Zealand, or, or sort of separate from New Zealand, but but linked to that. So it's um, newer there, and then we have these three crossing answers that only need one letter. Let's look at those, maybe. So twenty down would be animated film featuring parrots, and that's the animated film Rio. And then we have um. 21 down is sorely regret. You sorely regret something, you rue it. R U E. And then 22 down, 
British prog rock group is uh, the band Yes. So that's an S there. And then 26, we haven't looked at. So 26 across, Mrs. Kravitz and Saldana say. So those are Zoe Kravitz and Zoe Saldana. And that's Zoe's, the first name of both of those people. And now we only have this corner to fill. So let's start with this 15 down. Place remembered in Texas. So you remember the Alamo. That's the side of the famous battle, the Alamo. And 16. On entering pub public transport, show travel card to reader. Two words. So when you show your, your travel card to the reader in order to pay for your pay for your ride, you do something. T A starting T A, two words. But I'm gonna come back to that because that still has at least two, two options. Uh, so the the correct answer here is tag on. You tag on for the bus, for example, or the metro or whatever. Uh, but you might say tap on as well. Where I live, it's more common to say tap than, than tag. But tag definitely is in the dictionary as well. So I'm going to look at these acrosses. Um, Across a number 18 across Scott Joplin composition, perhaps. So Scott Joplin's music style what was ragtime, and one of his compositions might be called a rag. So that then uh, fixes this as tag on, and we can fill that in. And then we have 23 uh, 23 across, sorry, the genre of the, the Get Up Kids. That's it's an emo band email if it's here and now we have uh, one letter left and 25 is that there uh, that there is uh, one way to say it is yawn uh, especially in a sort of archaic way yawn yawn tree that there tree and that is correct we should look at 17 down by the way since we didn't look at that yet so it's an antelope to a leopard say no an antelope could be prey to a leopard a leopard might hunt an antelope, so that's why that's prey. All right, so nothing too tricky in this one. Um, and now we have a finished grid, and all that's left is the coloring. And we were even given the instructions on how to do the coloring. So um, should we look at the description again? So, well, maybe I'll just explain it. I'll just change the tool here. And we need two different colors, don't we? Uh, let's do yellow and blue. So, um, so uh, we we'll need to look at the starting letters of the clue and the starting letters of the answer. Uh, not the starting letters of the answer, but starting the letters of the clue in the answer. So, for example, cooled, uh, cool, the answer cool has this C, this starting C. So we need to highlight that. But it doesn't have CH, so it can't highlight two, two letters. Then this answer is man. It doesn't have a W, so we don't highlight anything there. Individual doing supporting work. So this was an aid, and it has this I, but it doesn't have an IN. So it's just this I that we highlight here. Then uh, air doesn't have B, so nothing there. Hemorrhage, bleed doesn't have a H, so we don't highlight anything here. Ale doesn't have a C. Now here this clue starts with this parenthetical, so we need to consider this. So 13, um, wall doesn't have this O, so we don't highlight anything. 15, then at a loss does have a T, but no TH. So we just highlight this T here. Then player was this answer to the 17, so that doesn't have a G. Um, 18's answer was a rag, so there's no S in rag. 19 was carry, and we do have a Y here in carry, but no Y E, so just one letter. Um, 23. Emo doesn't have a G. For 24, 
Niue doesn't have a P. Uh, 25, Yon doesn't have a T. And 26, Zoe doesn't have an M. So that's all we are um, highlighting for these uh, for these across answers. And that seems to spell out the word city. And now we are changing colors and we are doing the the down clues in the same fashion. So again, looking at, uh, at uh, substrings of the answer at the start of the clue. So number one would be Jasmine Calloway. So cab doesn't contain a J. So no highlighting that done there. Then we have the word oil doesn't have a W. The word oat doesn't have a, an L here. So nothing there. Then uh, leeway does have a W, but no WI. So just this W. Uh, five is meals, and that does have this A, but no AF. Uh, Southern French city, so that does have an S. Oh, it has an S here. Requirement, uh, that was the word need, and we don't have an R there. 11 is here, so Doctor Who, so Dalek has a D here, but no DO, so just this D. Songwriter Heart in, in 14, there's no S in, in Lawrence. Then uh, 15 was Alamo, there's no P in Alamo. 16 was tag on, and that has an O, but also this ON, so we have to uh, highlight both of these. So this entire string is is highlighted here. And then the word pray doesn't have an A spelled up, spelled this way. There's also a word pray in that with an A, but that's not this this one. Uh, 20 down, Rio doesn't have an A. 21, Ru doesn't have an S. And 22, yes, doesn't have a B. So that's all the a highlighting we are going to do, and these uh, blues now spell out D A W S O N Dawson, and that spells out our destination, which is Dawson City. And let's look up where that is. Uh, so we were looking for a small town with sort of sort of uh, sort of historic destination, and Dawson City was central to the Klondike Gold Rush over a hundred years ago. And here we have it in all its glory. That's the it's the Yukon River and that's the city there next to it. And let's look at the map where where this one is. So well, last time we were in, in Alberta we were in, we were in this national park near Edmonton and we're going way up north here to Yukon and near the near the Alaskan border and this is Dawson City. So here's our trip so far. And we are in Dawson City in Canada. Uh, now someone asked me why why this puzzle was called uh, It Must Be New York. And uh, it's probably not very obvious. Uh, what I was trying to do is make a crossword that looks like, looked like the, the style of the New York Times crossword. But, but uh, obviously that uh, sort of structure is um, used in many other publications so it doesn't really relate to uh, New York except in my mind and also we had 9 by 9 instead of 15 by 15 which is the New York Times sort of New York Times sort of uh, standard size but anyway it wasn't New York it was Dawson City so that was uh, 35 now 36 uh, is going to be uh, we don't have a crossword. That time we have a Sudoku and we have a Tapa puzzle next time. And that one is going to be called Roughing It Once More. So uh, looking forward to that, that one. And uh, for episode 35, thanks for watching.